the signs of early gum disease. Let's have a quick revision. They are redness of the gums, puffiness of the gums, bleeding from the gums, and bad breath. Granted, these signs are easy to ignore. But if you do, what will happen is that the bacteria will continue to accumulate around your teeth and gums and do more damage. The disease will spread from your gums and go down below to the bone and destroy the bone. That's right, the bone of your jaws. Often, you won't see this because the bacteria accumulate in pockets within the gum. Within these deep pockets, the bacteria will lie safely and slowly destroy the bone. Bone, once gone, cannot be replaced. Not without complex surgery. When bone is lost, you may notice that the teeth will look longer. The gums will lift away from the teeth, forming deep pockets that trap even more bacteria. In this stage of gum disease, treatment is much more complex, involving many stages of deep cleaning and possibly surgery. In even later stages, the teeth can start to become shaky and even drift or move out of position. And in the terminal stages, the teeth are so shaky that they will need to be removed. But that's not all. Remember, gum disease is a bacterial infection. And what happens in the mouth does not stay in the mouth. The bacteria from your diseased gums can enter your bloodstream and cause harm in other parts of your body. More and more research has shown that there is an association with advanced gum disease and conditions like diabetes and heart disease. For example, this study published in the British Medical Journal states that those with gum disease had a 25% increased risk of coronary heart disease. There is a growing evidence that a diseased mouth is associated with other conditions like preterm births, arthritis, and lung infections. When you think about it, this is not strange or surprising. After all, your body is one integrated whole. Your mouth is not separate from your body. In summary, understand the early signs of gum disease. Two, visit your dentist for a professional cleaning regularly, at least twice a year. Learn the correct ways of keeping your mouth healthy and practice them daily at home. This is Dr. Asha, wishing you good health always.